I gotta be honest, not looking forward to this one. Alright guys, part five. This is gonna be the complete wiring harness. Um, this video may get long, but we are gonna get the main harness put on the Grom. Um, this is gonna be the 300 F harness. This harness is the most plug and play, as in the dash, Grom dash, Coso for the Grom. It all just plugs in, you don't gotta do anything. Whereas the 250R, and the 300R, you'll have to repin some wires, um, uh, connect two wires together here and there to get the dash to work, unless you obviously use the dash from the bike that you got the motor from. Um, so this video is gonna be on, like I said, the 300F. I'm gonna make other videos for the 250R and the 300R. I actually have both of those that I'm building after I'm done my bike. So, and also I'm gonna be building plug and play adapter kits so people that have a 250 harness or a 300R harness just plug it in and then plug it in the dash make life easy right so I'm gonna try to go over everything that has to do with wiring this thing it's gonna be difficult so I'm probably just gonna set the camera up and just time-lapse me running the wires and then I'll go through how I ran what I ran what wires I extended what not um, there's thousands of different ways to put this harness on this bike so I know people that have put this harness on and they never had to extend any wires everything plugged in I know people that have extended every plug because they wanted to harness a certain way the way I'm gonna wire this one is my starting point is gonna be here where the factory rectifier goes I'm mounting the 300 rectifier here this is gonna be my center point and my harness is gonna build off this. I just, I don't know, OCD, I want this here. Um, the only thing I had to do, there's a little like 90 degree tab up here that I had to just bend out a little bit so the rectifier would fit flat on this. Um, that's gonna be the harness. I'm gonna try to record everything. Like I said, I'm gonna go over all the plugs. So bear with me skip through the time lapse it's going to be quick it's not i mean it's, this is going to take me hours but the time lapse will be a few seconds after that i'll go over the plugs what we extended and hopefully at the end of this in a couple weeks i'll have actual plug and play adapters so like your injector plug you will you'll see me extend it in this video you won't need to extend it on yours you just need that plug if you want it and you'll just it'll extend it for you plug and play same with a few sensors, um, some sensor on the throttle body I believe I'm going to have to extend just because of the way I'm going to run the bike, or run the wiring on the bike. So let me get the camera mounted as I keep walking around making you dizzy. And we're going to get this harness on, hopefully. Try to get everything wired. I'm still waiting for one part. Um, I mentioned in the beginning of this series how my throttle body is going to have the filter coming out the plastics. Well, the guy that makes the 3D printed elbows for the injector also made, or started to make a 90 degree elbow, which will, I'll turn the camera on, which will make the throttle body, the throttle body face forward on the bike. So the filter will be right here and you won't have to cut your plastics. If you're a Harley guy, you know, cool, we'll have a filter on the side, but if I don't have to cut my plastics, I'm not gonna do that. So let me mount this and let's get this harness on. Can I 
shooting star Got more than a couple of people going mad I swear they're rooting hard Tell them I be big in a game Like she went and got them breast implants I said I'm moving too fast Didn't even get a glance I'm ready to eat up track Like I'm seated in a restaurant If you had swag like mine You know it's best to flaunt Alright, update. I got most of it down. That's not, I'm not a fan of it, but I'm not going back through it. I just redid the whole wiring. Let me show you. So, we're going to be reusing the Grom coil. I left that there. Rectifier is mounted in the stock location. These are the grounding wires. I just extended these because the way this plug is, you may be able to get them to reach. I didn't feel like trying to figure that out, so I just extended these grounding wires. Solder, heat shrink, good to go. Uh, this relay, I just stuffed in here. I don't know if it's going to stay here, but it's there for now. And now we're going to go to the front, which puts the front cables through where the stock cables went through. So I got, I got plenty of cable here to do what I need. That's the fuel pump. That's perfect. Um, a racer. It's going to mount in factory location, which is going to be right here. These are my rear brake switch wires. So I just run them right through here. They connect here and run down to the brake switch. Injector stuff is right here. This is my injector. This is obviously going to go where the injector is on the elbow. This one is not used. Emissions. This one goes to the throttle body. I'm probably going to have to extend that because the throttle body is going to be on the other side of the frame. Um, these are my front wires. So we got the ignition. Uh, this one we're going to have to extend. Future editing mic here. And I just realized that I'd never included how to wire the ignition on this bike as I was editing this video. So I'm going to post on the screen here the diagram I used for the SF, the 300F harness. Now it's pretty much the same for all swap harnesses. Um, the SF and OG, the plugs are the same, the wire color is different. So if you need the OG, I'll have a link in the description to the YouTube video or uh, the Facebook group that's going to have that diagram. It'll have this diagram that's on the screen right now. But yeah, so sorry about that. I don't know what I was thinking. The camera might have died. Who knows? Fan probably shouldn't have to extend since the fan's going to be right here and then the horn horn is going to reach right here perfectly fine um, we got the battery cable that's already up here perfect location I have a grounding cable I haven't put on which will go from the ground to the grounding side on that side uh, let's see what else we got what else we got this out of the way um, so I took off the kickstands um, switch this bracket you use on your stock Grom, I took this off and I just routed the cable with a cable that's already here. Zip tied it together. It all bundles right here. Zip tied it to the main harness and I believe this will just stuff right into there behind the plastics just fine. So it's, it's kind of hard to explain and it looks like a rat's nest. I can't tell you how important it is to label this stuff before you put it on the bike, because trying to find the plugs to go to certain areas, it's easier to look at a tag. And you know, all right, this needs to run this way, this needs to run that way. Like I said in the beginning, there's probably thousands of different ways to run this harness. So it's whatever you find best. I'm just showing you how I ran it, and it should work. Um, we'll know when I go to start the bike at some point. Um, the next thing we're gonna do, since the harness is mostly ran, I'm going to get the injector installed. So I'll show you how to do that. It's going to go right in this elbow. Um, and we got some parts to put on it, but let's install the injector right now. 
So this is the injector we removed from the stock throttle body. Um, we're going to put this in here. It literally just slides in. And then you get screws from this elbow kit. We're going to put some blue Loctite just in case. Now that that's on, we're going to do the spark plug. So, the thing with the spark plug, obviously we're using the stock Grom coil. Uh, obviously this plug's not going to work. we got to put this one on. So it's pretty easy. Just untwist this while pulling out at the same time. Throw this away. Um, now we're going to insert this into here and just screw it back on. You'll feel it go through the pin that's in there. And then you can just slip this right in. Just like that. There's plenty of slack. You're good to go. It's sealed. I also forgot to mention starter wire. You'll find out which one it is. It's got this weird rubber cap that fits over it. I just ran it up through here and then back down around the coil or the rectifier. Next, I'm just going to put the battery in so I can get all these terminals. This is the ground wire. We're going to wire this up too. So the negative terminal off the battery, we're going to mount where the gra regular grounds were originally. We have a lot of excess cable in this build. Alright, so the battery's hooked up. I got over the fact that I was trying to make everything plug in without extending wires to make the middle of the harness fit perfectly and extend the wires that I need. So let me show you what I did. So on camera it's not going to look as glamorous, but instead of doing the loop that I had, I just did a zigzag and I can get the relays. Everything is zip tied tight it's underneath the tank. Everything will fit perfectly. Obviously A Racer ECU. Um, I cut off the admission connectors that were with the injector. I extended the injector wire, so that's nice and clean. I extended the horn wire to the, my horn down here. Fuel, fuel pump, I didn't have to extend that. This is one of the sensor plugs for the throttle body. I extended that. This is the other one that I have to extend. 
but it fits so much better under here, so much cleaner. I'll have room for the A-Racer wiring. This is what it looks like on this side. It's really, it kind of looks the same on this side. The grounds are still here, the rectifier, this relay. Um, this is that plug. So also we got a new part. The same guy that makes the injector elbows for the throttle bar relocation now produces what we call the no cut elbows, which are these. So these will make it so you don't have to cut your fairings for your air filter. This will go here, and which in turn will put your throttle body facing forward, and it will be tucked neatly behind your plastics. So your throttle body is going to be pretty much right about here. We have to delete this tab that's up here, but it's going to mount pretty much right here, and you can get a small little filter. If you want a normal filter, you'll have to trim the inside inner plastics, but Besides that, I like this setup way better. I wasn't looking forward to cutting my plastics and now I don't have to. I will have a link for these in the description. Um, I got three of them because I'm doing three swaps, but I believe it comes with another silicone adapter and two more clamps. This clamp, uh, this silicone adapter actually was already for the injector elbow. That's why it's already on there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount, get centered in the camera, mount the throttle body and then I can take measurements and do whatever and extend the wires and then we're almost ready to fire this thing pretty much I'm gonna do the headlight too and the controls I think I'm gonna cop out and just put the 300 controls on um, I don't I'm kinda lazy I don't feel like doing the Grom controls so we'll see when I get to that point so let me mount the camera and we will get started with the throttle body before we mount the throttle body we need to put the stopper in, the 3D printed part, and the two stock bolts. Um, this comes with your injector elbow, link in description. Uh, it's fairly simple. This, the small end obviously goes in where the injector is. This pushes it down to keep it secure and then you bolt it on. We're gonna have to cut this. It's a, just about halfway, a little less than half. We're gonna cut it off. So now that's off like that. Just put this in the injector hole like so. Grab your 3D printed part. It's gonna sit right on top of it. And then as you tighten the bolts, obviously, it will hold that in place. Eight millimeter. And you're gonna have to remove this sensor to get this bolt in. And then there's the finished product. You can see it plugged in there. Don't need it, the injector anymore, so now we can bolt this up there. First thing is we're gonna cut this mounting tab off. It's right under where the gas, or the air box mounts. <laughs> Take some touch up paint, touch up the part where you cut off. Now we're going to put the no cut elbow on. That sensor out of the way. So this comes, as you can see, one side is longer than the other. We're going to use the short side, that will mount towards the engine. that. Probably should have put this on first. Nope. So then we can mount this on. So we want to have it snug 
because we're going to have to rotate this to feel to see where the throttle body fits. So how this is going to go is you're going to have the big sensor facing out so the plug will plug out. Um, throttle, ca or throttle cables will be on the bottom. So this is going to go here. And we kind of want to make it so it clears the motor so you might have to angle it up a little bit. Uh, I found is put the silicone coupler on the throttle body first. Grab your two clamps. Try to make it so it's easier, easy with the screwdriver. Make sure you align it right. Like so. And then we're just going to slide this on. Just like that. Now we're going to slide this. Uh, slide your clamp up there. Tighten the clamp down. Slide your other one. Right next to it. I'm going to do mine a little off-centered so it fits better. Now you want to kind of just adjust this. I think I'm going to have it go just up just a little bit. Just like that. Now we're going to want to tighten this bottom one. Remember we only snugged it. Now you want to clamp it down. Remember these are 3D printed so you don't got to go crazy. Don't go ham. Some people say, there you go. Our throttle body is mounted and that's going to allow us so we don't have to cut the plastics, which is perfect. Alright, fast forward a little bit. We extended this wire. Nice and factory looking. We got the plug in there. I put a zip tie right here and these two are together. This obviously was plugged in. I mounted the radiator roughly just to kind of make sure it clears that plug back there and it does so we're getting there the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the headlight so I have another new item that I purchased since this is an SF this is a 12 volt SF clone headlight people say it actually does better than the factory SF headlight so we'll give it a go but it's got a three wire plug on the back we can slice that off and I purchased, where is it? Under my phone. I purchased a H4 pigtail, as in um, the male one, since the bike's harness uses a female version. So we're gonna make this plug and play. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this headlight plug and play with a CB harness. Really simple. So on your harness that's on your headlight, we got green is ground, White is low, blue is high. On the pigtails, I'll have this and the headlight in the description. Uh, black will be ground, white is low, blue is high. That's how it lines up in the harness, so it actually works out pretty good. It's mostly color matching. So we're gonna cut off this plug. That is not cutters. Where are my cutters? Under my phone. Ridiculous. Alright, so let's cut off this plug. We're never going to use it. Throw it away because I missed the trash can. We're going to cut back some of this because we don't need it. Strip these wires. Take the harness. We're actually going to trim some of this. We don't need this much wire. We're going to start with the ground. Heat shrink. So put your heat shrink on. Take your ground. We're going to twist it together first, like so, and we're going to take our soldering iron and some solder and do this properly. Just 
slip the heat shrink over the top. Grab your heat gun as I drop my heat shrink everywhere. Now we have a perfectly good soldered solid connection. And I'm gonna do that for the other two. Just like that, we have a perfectly plug and play 12 volt LED headlight for your SF if you're doing a swap. All right, next thing we're gonna do is switch out these controls. I believe I said in the beginning I was gonna try to repin these. There is a way to repin them. I will have a diagram in the Facebook group which is linked in the description. For now, I'm lazy. I'm gonna put my 300 controls on because it's plug and play. Make sure you take this off. This is on your stock controls. It covers the pins that are on the back. I failed to record that, but unscrew it. There's two Phillips screws. I don't even know if I was recording the other side, so we'll know when I go to edit it. So take apart your 300 controls. You don't need the back, obviously, because it's still on your bike from the stock ROM one. You just need the top with the start button, and it'll just go right on. All right, so we got the controls on. Those are 300 controls. They're identical to ROM controls. They just have different plugs on the bottom so it just makes life so much easier so I'm gonna end the build I guess here I could God only knows how long this video is it's probably ridiculous I'm gonna try to edit it down but we know my editing skills suck so we got the entire wire harness down strapped down we got plugs extended I hope I went through everything that I extended here um, and how I routed it hopefully it was understandable but r realistically it's however you feel you want to route it it's no perfect way to do it like I said some people have put this on here where everything fits and like me I put the harness on here the best that I thought it fit and then extended the plugs to where they needed to be um, we got the headlight wired like I said before we got the Grom controls on we got the battery put in uh, what else did we do a racer ECU's in hardracing.com link in description um, we got the throttle body installed the sensors installed we got the no cut elbow and the injector elbow links for those will be in the description um, yeah and I also I will have plug-and-play adapters for this so you don't have to cut and splice so the injector plug, I'll have one. These sensors for the throttle body, I'll have one. The horn, I'll have one. Um, and whatever other plugs that I think it needs, I'll have one. I'll probably design one from the headlight too. That'll be easy, so you guys don't have to cut that. But I don't know when those plugs will come in so I can make them. But when they do, they'll be posted in the Facebook group, which is linked in the description. Um, that's where I'm posting all the wiring diagrams. I have a lot of people helping me do this and making sure the information is correct. There's so much bad information out there, it's crazy. So, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. 
Subscribe if you're new. Like the but like the button. Hit the like button. Dislike button. Do whatever you do. And I hope this helps someone out there. And the next video, what are we gonna do? We are going we're gonna mount the radiator. It's kind of in there now. And we'll mount the dash, we'll mount the headlight. I'll have adapters for the blinkers. And like I said, the radiator, we'll get a filter put on there. Do I dare say we may start it? We'll see. I don't even know if we'll do that in the next video. So thank you again for watching. Take it easy, guys.